Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing you, Blender vs Fusion 360 comparison. So, before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, if you're into 3D printing and trying to decide between Fusion 360 and Blender, the better option really depends on the type of projects you're planning to work on. So, in this case, let's go ahead and just break down a few things here. So, in this case, Fusion 360. Now, this one is perfect if you're building things that need precision, like brackets, gears, enclosures, or mechanical prototypes here. It's made for Autodesk, or made by Autodesk here. So, it's widely used by engineers and product designers based off its uh, parametric modeling. That spacing means you can go in, change dimensions, or adjust parts here, and it will automatically update everything else. Super handy when you're iterating. Now, it's also cloud-based here, which makes it easy to access your projects anywhere, and it has a built-in tools to export 3D printables, like uh, files like STL. Well, it's technically a paid tool here. It's actually free for hobbies earning, uh, in this case, under, like, 100,000 K dollars per year, which makes it accessible for most individuals and small makers. But where Fusion uh, 360 falls short is in the creatives. Artistic modeling, it's not just made for that kind of organic design. Now, if you're leaning more towards artistic or decorative prints here, like character models or uh, sculptures, miniatures, well, Blender is a better fit here. Now, it's completely free and open source. It's been around for a long, long, long time here. So the community and resources are massive. So Blender's strong suite is definitely in its sculpting and texture tool, uh, texturing tools here, which are ideal if you want to create detailed creative models with a lot of personality. It also has a built-in plugin called the 3D Print Toolbox, which helps you get your models ready for printing. So while it's not designed for engineering precision in mind, it can still handle 3D printing fairly well here. And that said, it does have a bit of learning curve here, especially if you're new to 3D design. It's not as easy to work with uh, if you need tight tolerance and dimensionally accurate models. So in this case, both are powerful 3D printing, uh, both for uh, for 3D printing here, but they serve different purposes here. So choose one that matches your project style here and you have a, a much smoother experience. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.